Well, as the city runs out of places to house migrants, they continue to urge the White House to take action. Fox 5's Morgan McKay joins us now from outside the Roosevelt Hotel. And Morgan, we're now learning that there's more migrants coming into the city first thing tomorrow. Steve and Natasha, over 100,000 migrants have now arrived in New York City since last spring. And over 57,000 migrants are currently in the city's care, including 18,000 children. Now, we're not seeing migrants camped here outside the Roosevelt Hotel like we were last week, waiting for housing. But the city's emergency management commissioner was here just a short time ago and said that every single day is a struggle. They're expecting at least five more buses with migrants to arrive between now and and 6 a.m. tomorrow. We need leadership from President Biden, period. Congressman Jamal Bowman calling the Biden administration's lack of action on the migrant crisis in New York City unacceptable. Bowman says New York representatives are meeting with the White House on a weekly basis on this issue, but says there is no reason President Joe Biden can't grant emergency work authorization to migrants tomorrow through executive order. It's a politically tenuous issue, but that's unacceptable. I have heard that um, from the those close to the administration. Meanwhile, a state Supreme Court judge on Friday ordering state officials to provide more support to the city in this migrant crisis. The city is to provide the state with a list by Wednesday of state and federal resources it requires to continue sheltering and caring for migrants. The state must respond to the city's requests by August 15th, one day before the next scheduled court date. And, uh, Governor Kathy Hogel did not make herself available for off topic questions, but asked. Adam says he believes upstate counties should do more. We believe our other counties of states have an obligation. New York City is the economic engine of, of not only this country, but the state. And we believe everyone should step up and play a role in this crisis. One of the things the city could ask for is more support for migrant students. Right now, over 14,000 migrant children are enrolled at city schools. State education leaders met yesterday with city officials to discuss how to better Best meet student needs. Adam says that some NYPD officers are teaching ESL, but says New Yorkers should step up. If you speak Spanish, there's nothing stopping you from opening a class to teach migrant Spanish and run it to Herx. We will give you the room to do so. We can't do this alone. Now, the city will be opening three new sites to house migrants over the next few weeks, and the state will be actually paying for two of these sites, including the one on Randall's Island. Now, city officials say over the next few weeks that they expect a large influx of migrant families with children to be arriving here in New York City. So they want to move as many adult men and women to these 10 sites in order to make room in their hotels for these migrant families. Reporting live outside Roosevelt Hotel, I'm Morgan Mackay, Natasha. Back to you.